Let's do it, baby. So it's, uh, sorry, we're running a little behind schedule. It's about it's almost 6.10 on Thursday, uh, January 5th. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, we've been having a little bit of technical difficulties, but I think we're all rolling now. So um, first, so I'm going to call the regular meeting to order. First thing is set adjust agenda. I believe we have one item to strike from the agenda. Yep. Strike item three. Striking <coughs> item three. And move the others up. Yep. And then the others roll in that same order. Anything else? Anybody have any... Um, Anything to add or subtract? I can motion to remove item three. Great. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Communication from the audience. Anybody here to discuss something that's not on the agenda? Great. Yes. Aye. I'm here in support of, or to, I try to remind her that things have to be on the agenda first. Oh, I just okay, can you guys state your names? Please? Yes, so I'm Zarina Castro. Um, I am a, a, re a resident of Walden, but Arwick is my town. I've been in the area 22 years. I have many, many connections to the town. And I recently purchased an electric vehicle. And I just want to talk about how difficult it is to get it charged in Arwick. There are currently three places to charge. One of them is behind the health center that is not available to the public during the day that I know because I tried to use it recently when I when I had an appointment there. There's one behind the, and that's a, a level two kind of slow charger. Mm -hmm. There's one behind the, the um, uh, dentist office, uh, which has so far been available. There's only one charger there, but I haven't had any trouble using it when it comes. It's not a fast charger, but it, it, it's very reasonably priced. They charge. They don't charge you for the electricity, they charge you a dollar an hour. And then we have one fast charger, and that is the one behind the Loyal Valley Ford, and that one charges 10 times the amount of a fast charge that I have had in um, uh, Stowe, where I go to church. So 10 times, it is, it is like buying gasoline. Electric vehicles are very expensive. One of the reasons people, it's sacrificial for me to buy one, and I'm doing it because I love Mother Earth. But it's, it's uh, I don't, I can't afford to pay my, my payments and also pay the same amount of electricity as I pay for gas. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I'm off the grid. I have solar power, and this time of year, I can't charge at home. You know, there, I know that there are other people in the area that come to Harvard and that need a charger. And I think it's a real problem. I've talked some to Opie about it, and he's told me about all the reasons why it can't be in a lot of places. And I would just like for you guys to have a can-do attitude about figuring out where it can happen, as opposed to all the reasons that it can't happen in a variety of places. Because I think it's, it's really, really important. It's important for the environment, and it's important for the current people of the area who very much support this town. So that's my request for you, is that you really work on getting um, charging stations. And I also encourage you not to let whoever is doing it behind the oil for do any more, because the gouging is reprehensible. <clears throat> Utterly yeah. reprehensible. Yeah, so we don't have anything to do with that. We actually don't have anything to do with any of the charging stations you mentioned. Um, we do what have- about the permitting we, from the, to operate a business. I mean, that is a business, obviously. Yes. So, I mean, there's there's red Z's all over town for um, ordinance. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, don't don't businesses have to be, you know? They have to meet our zoning requirements. Yeah. Oh, it's a zoning. That's the Z is for zoning. Yep. A zoning permit. Um, so, so what's what's the complaint here? So, right, so all that yeah. So just be aware. You really try hard yeah. to try to get more. I know so we, yeah, money yeah, for yeah, it. yeah. So we hear you. I think um, I don't. Uh, you know, I. Do we, we I, I don't need an answer here. today. You can, yeah, so, go ahead. Serena, just a really quick comment. So we we get a regular update from Harvick Electric, and this is a regular. Um, conversation that we're constantly asking about because 
I think anything that we would do would have to be in partnership, essentially, with Hardwick, Hardwick Electric. And they are working on an, a station right behind their facility. Yeah, Hardwick Electric, yeah. Um, and then we've also, it, it's definitely always a part of our conversation. We also had a conversation with the state at one point that was looking at Hardwick to set up um, some EV stations. The state is not always the fastest. Um, I think the trick that you're experiencing, that a lot of people are experiencing, is that there are more and more electric vehicles. As the Royal Valley Ford shows, there are all those lightnings right out front, but we just don't have the infrastructure, but we are working on it, slowly but surely. So thank you for thank reminding you. us yep. that we need to continue to work on it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> That's all. All right, thanks. Um, I, I'm Nancy Kellogg, and I recently had uh, my son from Boston, who has an all-electric car, came up to visit, to meet Pete, you know, and also visit his mother-in-law in, -law in um, Stowe. And anyway, they were frantic about the, the, um, the car running out of juice and wanted, you know, and I said, oh, there's, there's chargers all over. But at that time, I didn't realize there are fast chargers and slow chargers, and um, I can't imagine a, a business like the Loyal County Board operating a business without um, oversight as to what kind of business and blah, 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 you know, they can mm -hmm. actually operate in town. I'm surprised. I've, Mr. Upton. I see something? So, one of the things with the, the fast charters, okay, is demand fees. So when it's like turning on 100 air conditioners. Oh, the demand, demand fees. So the high demand of electricity. Right. So that is the reason why it's so expensive to charge a vehicle because we're a municipally owned utility. We're not Green Mountain Power. We're not Velco. So we can't. One of the things, and I can't speak for the commissioners right now, you should go to a commissioner's meeting and discuss this with them. The Hardwick Electric Board of Commissioners. The Hardwick Electric Board of Commissioners. But the demand fees are what drives the price of a, of a fast charge up. It's definitely one thing. And that's yep. one of, one of yep. the So electricity is not free. No. So, and, no. And some of the, I think that the sentiment is with the commissioners, they, they don't feel that the public should subsidize people with electric vehicles to charge their vehicle, a fast charge of vehicle. I, I know that has been an argument. But it's but really not an issue subsidize for subsidize people with gas engine vehicles that are, you know. How are they subsidized? I, I don't think. How are they subsidized? At, at five something a gallon. With the pollution? With the, the vehicle? We're going to gonna have a big argument here in a minute. Okay. Know, I mean, okay, so I think that. It, it's, it's all connected. Yeah, yes. so I think that we, by and large, realize that over time, Hardwick to be, um, continue to be alluring to visitors needs to provide charging in the same way that we provide, that there are gas stations in town. We don't provide right? gas stations. Well, right, but in the town, there should no, be gas stations. There should, in the, but the town, and there should be. But the town, we the, should go, we should, we can be, we should nip We can one. be supportive. Yeah. We should nip this. But one. I don't think we're going to be in the business of delivering. No, we're not going to be in the business of providing uh, charging stations. Charging probably. stations. That's right. Just like we don't provide gas stations. But, but they have charging at the Valley They do. They charge, right they they charge, they charge for it. They charge they money for it. They charge money for it. Shame on that. This is a different location. This is the, the car right. wash. Yep. So and that's owned by Lamoille County Ford. It doesn't matter who owns it. They own it. It's their electricity. If you want it, you charge your rig there. You pay what they're asking. But no the different. But it's no different than when PV I drive panels. into a, any. You know, there's that's why we 20 have. acres of PV panels up the road here. Um, 20 acres. Oh, uh, Kenny Davis's? Yeah. Not more than 20 acres. Anyway, yeah. I think, yeah, I think so, this would be a really good thing to bring to Harvard. Hardwick Hardwick Hardwick. Hardwick. Yes, I do That's too. Like I do agree perfect, with that. The perfect place to have the conversation. They need to hear stuff like this. They really need or, to hear. Where's the transition? They meet, they the meet on Mondays. Fossil fuel uh, Where is it? We don't know. That's a huge question. Uh, that, that's that's not something we're going to answer tonight, I don't yeah. think. And so when do they meet? I'm looking at it right now. They meet. The third, third, third Monday of the month. It's on their website. Is it on the website now? I, yeah. 
Yep. Really? Yes. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Did they welcome input? I believe it's the third. <laughs> <laughs> the third one. Kayla's looking it up. I'm yeah. just double checking, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Over yeah. across the road. Yep. All right. I'm going to move us along. Yeah, I need to find uh, Thank you. Yes. Third yes, Monday. Thanks. The third Monday at five p.m. <clears throat> At what time? 5, 5, 5 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. We start early. And look on their website, too, because they had been meeting by Zoom, right? Yeah, there's a link. So there'd be some, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so ne next is to select board to approve minutes from last time, which is December the 15th. Could we have a motion to that effect? I can motion to approve those minutes. Second. Any... Uh, Discussion about the minutes from last time. If they look good. They look good. All in favor of approving the minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Next is the town manager report. Right. I'm going to blow through this so we can get back on track. All right. <laughs> no. um, so both both collective bargaining union contracts are under final review by both sides um, and should be will be ready to ratify by the next meeting. Uh, SE Group provided us with a bridge summary report in the final hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Nice report. Um, which has been passed on to our consultant working on this section 106 report. That's a historical re review. We had a good meeting with him today. So the ball oh, yeah. is rolling. Nice. Uh, it was just a minute nice. after we got the thing. I'm great. Over the lip reader. Nice. Uh, <laughs> 106 <laughs> associates. Lip reader. Um, <laughs> we are moving lips. forward with the lead service inventory. Do you got, are you familiar with the lead, lead service inventory? Do tell. Okay. So the state of Vermont is requiring by October of 2024 that all connections that the town water system has are inventory. The, the type of um, material that we we connected that we connect to that we connect to, to the where the meter goes so we Oops. have a lot of this information so sorry yeah go ahead so from like them to us or from no, where from, we end from when we leave our distribution May. line yeah go up there so sort of to the shut off at the street yep <coughs> to the what meter. On that? what's the to the to, to the, the meter. meter in the house yep what what's that material? That's yes. the, okay. Even though often that's not as installed by us. I know, but we we are required. right. I but we're leaving required. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand. How, how do we know what that is without digging it up? Well, well, look at both ends. We have well. Can't look at both ends. What's we're, good about this? No, you're right. It's the meter project. <laughs> yes. So we did a meter project where we took pictures. Oh. Every year, so really. So a lot of this work is going to be done. Some towns have to actually go to every single house and document. But all you know really is what's coming up. That's okay. In, okay. That's, that's step one. Okay. That's just step one. Yeah. That's due by October 2024. So we have some time. We're starting to work on it now. The next step is to actually dig up lines and take samples and check. Now is this the lines um, off the main or off the? That we that we're not sure of. Right. So if we have a question, they're going to require us to dig it up and check it and test it. Wow. And that's something we're doing. Or wow. contracting out. Um, right now, I think we have a lot of the information already. So it's just going to be some house. compiling of some information. But you know what I'm saying? When it comes time when we it's set to dig it, it would be better to have it. No, um, no because contracts well, break it. No. <laughs> I I, I, I had two it. questions yeah. at the same time. So. He started fire district. Great question. They're a small enough water system where the state is helping out with all of that. Oh, good. So we are just over the threshold of size. Where we do it ourselves. Where we do it ourselves. But luckily, we have a lot of this data. Yep. So we're working on it. I just wanted you to know that it's a requirement, um, and there's there's grants out there to be able to do it, but we already got an asset management grant, right. I think in 2016 or right. 2012, mm -hmm. where um, a lot of this information was collected when, our, when we did our mapping. Yep. So we're, we have a leg up. Well, yes, so we do it in this, but I'm feeling like we're going to discover some lead in this process. That's the, that's the reason for doing it, but I don't think well, you're seeing one in a long time. Really? So that's good news. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know that, but yeah. I mean, that's the idea of what, what they used to do with the old lead goosenecks coming off from the main itself. Yeah. But I haven't seen one of those in years. 
That's good. And a lot of people, you know, I think... With and I bought a tester anyway, so... Oh, like tax, no. Right? But not in everybody's house. No. Oh, no. no. And that's what we're talking about. But we've got a lot of new water main. We, you know, everything that runs up, you know, church, West Church, you know, Mac part, of, part of North Main, Macville, uh, South Main, uh, Kellogg Street. So you, when you made those connections, did we... We did it all in the and That's what got, I'm saying. They got rid of lead free solder. Not that we're doing a lot of soldering, but right. in houses, there could be some soldering. But just wanted to fill you in on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a great project. Yeah, another great mandate. <laughs> hey, but we but save the ourselves. money we spend on putting those meters in is saving us money. Well, we also have a asset management grant where we right. inventory a lot of this stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is, we're, yeah. we're in good shape. And I talked to Homer and Elliot uh, Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday. And uh, we discovered all this and kind of breathed the sigh of relief. Yeah. Um, the wastewater plan upgrade. So we'll move from water to wastewater. The wastewater plan upgrade project is winding down for the season. Uh, the contract will stop, and we'll, we'll, the contract will stop this Friday. Um, they're going to do a little bit of demobilization next Monday, and then we will resume in the spring. Lagoon one or lagoon number two has been filled, and three strands of aeration are fully operational. And today they moved the curtain um, back from Lagoon 1 to Lagoon 2. So that's in place. They repaired a small rip. Um, so that's good. And uh, everything is going well. Uh, I think the operator did monthly testing. So they, we've had good results. A couple high phosphoruses um, and a BOD throughout the, um, the project of the Lagoon 2 dewatering, but we're, we're in good shape there. Um, the wastewater plant discharge permit has been submitted to the state for renewal. Um, our current permit runs out in July of 2023, so we sent out letters to the property owners and submitted the paperwork by the deadline of December 31st. Uh, we were, um, oh yeah, we were, this is, <laughs> Uh, we were given a heads up by the assessor that we received a letter from the state with a common level of appraisal um, is at 78.4. We fell below uh, 80%, which we knew was coming. Um, we have an RFP out, and we're, what's the deadline for? Um, yeah, so we're, we'll have a, um, responses we'll, to we'll that. have a responses yeah. and we'll get that ball rolling for a town wide appraisal. Okay, just so if folks don't understand, do you mind just explaining what the, th the threshold? Uh -huh. Or Matt, somebody I wish Matt was here. <laughs> so basically, um, the prop, our grand list has to be with a, a certain threshold of the common level of appraisal rate. And when we fall below 80, um, it means your properties are under assessed. Yeah, yeah, we're not collecting enough taxes. Ideally, your CLA would always be 100, but that's never going to happen. You're stuck when you do a reappraisal, it usually ends up being like 105, 107. So that gives you a little bit of time to, to wear it down. Um, but because houses have been selling for yeah. high, I mean, that's why you need a reappraisal. So, um, Could everybody wants a piece of hardwood right now? And wall. And wall. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so that's where we're at. This is just the tip of that story. That's Danny's job. <laughs> nice. But the reappraisal can also help us with having more accuracy in the grand list. Totally. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, 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 yeah. it's not this, a bad thing. This real, a lot, I think a lot of towns are going to be in the same. And he told us. Yeah. 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 So we're good. I thought they, yeah. <coughs> it was part of the process. Yeah, and our last reappraisal was 2016, I think, right? Right. That sounds right. And the every one, 10 years or something, isn't it? I think it's every time you dip below 80% yes. of the right. COA, which the time and before was 2006, so it was 10 years. Yeah. But this time it's going to be... Probably more than 25 before we can even get... It's going to be right. 10 years again, because yeah. yeah. every town is looking for these services and there aren't that many appraisers. Appraisers. Lucky, luckily, we have a good relationship. Yes. And hopefully we'll, we, we receive a bit from that. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Does the town employ appraisers? Uh, we we, employ, we employ an assessor. Assessors. We do have a, an assessor. Assessors and appraisers are the same thing? No. 
Uh, well, similar, we but so we employ, employ a, an assessor to do the job the listers used to do. So not to do, it's not part of his regular job to do a town-wide reappraisal. So that's why we're going out to bid for that. It's an extra service. Yes, yeah, it's another, it's a whole project. Contract. What happened to the listers? Um, wow. So <laughs> nobody, applied. nobody applied. They want, their existing listers wanted to retire. This is going back a ways. Yeah, uh, I remember seeing the yeah. and a charter change. And a charter change, yeah. So we don't, yeah, we didn't have anybody who wanted to do it anymore. So uh, next up is the road foreman report. Tom, tell us about mud season, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have mud season? A foul here and there. It's a lot of foul that's built for a bunker. I went to fix today. All in all, but no, I don't think they're that bad. Next week, if they're better than the a lot of roads in yeah. a lot of other towns, if the uh, that weather forecast is going live, uh, we plan on uh, hopefully Monday and Tuesday. I think Wednesday, my time to look, we're supposed to get a little rain shower or something, mm -hmm. but Monday and Tuesday we'll be hauling gravel to see if we can button up some of these poles and stuff. Hauling gravel in January, second week of January, yes. that's crazy. <laughs> Make hay when the sun shines. That's right. Even if you're out for a little bit, right. you should pack down maybe a little bit. <laughs> all right. So that's all right. And all, all the trucks are the trucks running? No. Oh. Don't go. No. <laughs> Don't. Okay. We have. Uh, it was a nightmare. I should stay down in Florida when I had a chance. Uh, it seemed like uh, when I got back, everything was broke. Let's see. My truck we had 550. That's been down for what now? Three weeks? Mm -hmm. Four. Like that. Uh, when we had the windstorm and got the snow, Todd's truck was down, so we were down to three trucks. Uh, so we basically filed till I think it was 10 o'clock at night, and then we came in, I think 1.30 that next morning started again, just so we could try to, try to open everything up. Then let's see, my truck had an oil leak, we got that fixed, then I had a valve that was leaking, we got that fixed. Tool cat that had a valve leaking, we got that repaired. Snow blower blew a seal on the front. We got that fixed. Let's see, so Todd's truck is fixed. Man. The 550 should be done tomorrow. Yeah, yeah they keep saying that. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so that's all we got left. Well, thank goodness it's not snowing this week. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Or really so that, that, that ice a couple sewer issues. Yeah. Uh, pump house issue up on one side. Uh, we got that fixed. Uh, so that's that water, is, not sewer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Next. <coughs> All right. Fire truck, I don't know if you can film in on that or. They know. Okay. Yeah. Major trauma to the fire truck. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to do anything with it. Yep. It's a good plan. We might. <laughs> you guys will figure that out yeah. amongst yourselves. Yeah. I'm wrestling for it. It's an item of contention, right? Nope. All right. Well, let's move on. Okay. We don't yeah. pick that scab. <laughs> okay. So we're going to move on. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Uh, next up is Harvick Police Report, and we have uh, Mike Henry on the on the Zoom, and you can hear us now, right? Woohoo! What's that? I can yeah. hear you loud and clear now. Awesome. Loud and clear. So I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, I think the big thing for us is we had the uh, COPS grant audit review uh, case. Can you hear me fine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Casey and I had the uh, COPS grant uh, audit review on the 29th, we, we got through that. Uh, I th think we got everything that we need. Uh, Casey did a great job with that. I really appreciate her help with that. Um, so I think uh, the next thing is just the uh, leaving the scene of the crashes that we've had. We, I think I've told you in the past, we've been having a lot of those. So we've really stepped up the uh, uh, DUI enforcement uh, and officer uh, Andrew Force has been uh, heading that up, uh, getting a lot of uh, DUIs off the roadway uh, recently. So pretty ecstatic with that. Um, we're gonna be doing uh, snowmobile patrols when we get snow. So <laughs> I'm not sure when that's gonna be. Do you know, Danny, I have any idea when the snow's coming? No, I've, I've groomed all the snow we had right off the trail, so. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I if you haven't noticed, I've been grooming Wilkins Street here lately, okay. so. <laughs> doing what I can. So we've got uh, two sleds that will be coming from uh, uh, the 
Buffalo, Buffalo Mountain. Mountain. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Mountain. Yep. And uh, we're going to be storing those up at the town garage. So uh, I think we're going to be all set with that. I don't think we're going to be getting a trailer. Uh, once we get snow, we'll just ride them up there, and that's where they'll be. But uh, that way we can do the enforcement on mainly the rail trail. That seems to be everybody's concern is keeping the speed down on the rail trail. Uh, we have uh, speed guns and that type of stuff that we can uh, do in town. Uh, and we have training set up for the guys on the 18th to uh, for the snowmobile patrol. Other than that, I th everything is running pretty smoothly at the police department. I don't know if there's anything else anybody has to offer at this point. Uh, I don't. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Keep up the good work. All right. Great. Uh, all right. So I'm going to move us on. Next is item one, select board to discuss new developments and potential sale of property. We acquired it to be a tax collector's deed on Caspian Avenue. Um, then we're on schedule. Yeah. Mr. Upson, do you want to? So I just want to make this have to stay. Yeah. Um, so I got a, I put an email in here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that I got an email from Christina Mackelson saying that she's having a hard time ensuring the deed to this property, and suggested that we sell the property for what the town owes, which is where's that email? I so I, I, I read that and I don't understand. It, it just makes no sense to me that the dollar amount. Changes anything? Yeah. How does that? If, the title? Well, I don't see why we would sell something that we can't title for less money. Either you either you title it or you, you don't. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't understand why what that gets us out of. How does that affect the yeah. being able to clear the title? Right. Clear title is clear title. I mean, either the amount we need has nothing to do with the amount of money that's paid for a parcel. It goes back to. The original deed. I'm, I'm still no, at, I'm yeah. still at loss. Right. I'm still at loss. Right. Why and it doesn't it doesn't why we can't title get title to this problems. property? Well, I don't think that she's saying that she well. So I believe. Well, I read it, so I got my opinion what it says. <laughs> yeah, but I believe what she's saying. So she's doing the title search for the buyer. And she's saying, I don't think I can she's saying we certify don't have clear title to the thing to sell. No, she's, mm -hmm. not. she's saying, saying that she I don't think the I can certify clear title to the buyer. It's a slightly different nuance. She's not actual. She's not our lawyer saying you I guys understand. don't. Have well, I understand. Yeah. I understand so, what's going on. So what you're saying is, if, if, if Dean, somebody goes to the bank and take out a loan for that property, right? They're not going to get along. Dean, can I you, understand can you that. state your name, please? Yeah. Sorry, uh, Dean you're Persier. Thank you. I understand the that. Person who's the buyer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. Right. I mean, basically, my my what I plan on doing is cleaning up the property and keeping it because my property is next to it. Yeah. Um, and like I said again, we we put up with this for years and years and years, and so we're the ones that had to suffer with. The mess over there, and that's why we want to purchase it, clean it up, and I want to make sure that nobody else can do the same thing that we've had to go through because the laws protect people and allow them the, to. The laws protect people, Dean, to have clear title. The laws do not protect people that do not have clear title. No, what I'm saying is, so is what the, you're trying the law to do protects people who trash their property and it depreciates the, my property, and I have to look at it, and then when I go to the town and say, hey, there's garbage out there, there's food laying all over the place, thrown all over the place, there's bags of garbage. I understand. It's not the it's not the only place it occurs in town. So that's Well no, I'm not I'm not saying that, but <coughs> years and years of I mean I, I think if it was next door to your house, you might feel a little bit different now. If it was next door to my house, I would pay what the original amount was of the deal. Oh so really? Okay. I don't understand. <laughs> well, the lawyers are the one that's saying this. I didn't I'm not the one that suggested this. The lawyer's the one that suggested this because she felt the property wasn't worth what you're asking for. Well, that's not and her position. The agreement was on it. You should get a new attorney. Because it, it doesn't change the title to that property. She is, she is our attorney. I, that's fine. But I'm telling you, clear title's clear title. And if we don't have clear title, we shouldn't be selling it. 
That's my opinion. And if certainly it shouldn't be matter so of selling. So what are you going to do with the property? Just leave it well, We're going to figure out the title, I guess, right? It, we it's going to cost you money. Nobody's worked on it. Well, I, it doesn't, I still am not, so I don't understand why. So you still to changing the price doesn't resolve the title clearance. Right. It changes nothing. And being That's able my to point. get insurance on it, it doesn't uh, change that. Right. So, oh, so I think what we're trying to Correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, but what you're trying to say is not that we don't want to sell the property, but, we'll, but that we need to make sure that there's a clean title so that way we do it properly. So we just need to figure out how we clean the title up because we own it right now. So that's, if that's on us. That's on us to figure out how to get that clean title. And right? I mean, mm. no? Since it's our property? Do you want to spend that kind of money? I mean, well, it's a choice I don't know what it costs exactly, but she, according to her, it's going to cost more to have it taken care of. I don't even know what the title defects are. So it's back at the, or, the original title. The original deed? Mm -hmm. From when so the, the original lot back. and range mm -hmm. way, way, way back? And, and so, I don't have a problem with paying more than what Why are you we guys concerned about that? have on the property. What I'm saying is, is that I'm not she feels that we can pay that kind of money for it. Do we need to just have our lawyer talk to her? And figure it out. I emailed Bill. I haven't heard back from him. Okay. On the bottom of that email, you can see. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. I can reach out to Bill. And, um, Could we table this? Yeah. Okay. So. It's just a complicated. Legal I've just process. never heard of an answer price tonight. reduction. Right. Yeah, price reduction of real estate due to. Because it doesn't clean the title. It doesn't clean the title. No, it doesn't make that difference. I don't understand the connection between the. Between that. Between what? Reduction of price. And and right. That part I don't know. Because it doesn't, right. it, it would not it clear, it wouldn't clear the title. Clear. Which doesn't help you. Right. right. And, and, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. I just don't want to, I just wouldn't want to pay a full price on it. Totally. And what I'm saying is, is that I can connect it to my, since it's there and I have something we've had to deal with, yeah. I just want to be able to connect it to my property. Well, Dean, you came here more than happy to pay what you agreed to pay with. And, right. But and you I were excited. You were excited happy. about the deal, Dean. You were excited about the deal. You were more than willing. You wow. said more than one time you were willing to pay that. Yeah, out of all the people here, I thought you would have understand. Well, those, but I really just I because mean, I don't agree with you, don't mean I don't understand, Dean. Well, I just feel that I, I agree with the lawyer. I feel that it's since it does have a clean title, and so if I want to sell this property down the road, then I'm going to have to pay more money to get the title straightened out. I think I don't think we need to argue about this. I think what I think we I'm just asking we for don't some have type enough. of discount on it totally. because so I think, I think that that doesn't clean the title. Yeah, so we're, I think what we need to do is I mean, if you want to pay the money on the title clean, I'll pay the fifteen thousand dollars. I don't know. It needs, we, we need, it needs to go to our lawyer to see if he agrees that that's there, fine. That there are title the title issues. We, we it's it's like I, what I would say is like we don't want it. It's like if you look at it like a, a used car. Like we don't want to be the people that sell you a bad used car, so without giving you a title with, for it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So if you get the title clean, I'll pay you the full price. I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying that, you know, like the lawyer said, it, it, she just felt that it was, you know, I'm not the one who brought that up. She's the one who brought no, it up. No, I, I do agree with that. I completely yeah. understand, and you know, that's why just, lawyers do keep deep, deep research. Yeah. Bill already told us that it wouldn't be able to be being financed because you wouldn't be able to get. So they're going to have to go back and spread the After a certain, until a certain period of time has passed. But the, way it's the issue isn't with our deed. Right, I know, it's but the, you still can't be, he knows the title insurance right. for it. Regardless. Right. So that hasn't changed, nothing's changed from the original deal. It's not able to be done right now. Right. But nobody knew that. And, and that, that was explained. Like, no, I explained like, that. Well, again, that, that bird's not on us. That. I, I explained that to you that you couldn't get finance. The burden is on us to clear the title, Dean. That's what he said. I, and, I, and I agree over that. That's fine. Yes, yeah, so we're not going to sell you a bad piece of property. Okay, so I think this. I don't think that we have like. We don't have we the inf we don't have tonight. the information or the yeah. expertise to solve this tonight. It yeah. needs to go to somebody who to a lawyer who's familiar with deed research to see what we need to do. Yes. But we're also not going to sell it to anybody else. <laughs> it's not going to go yeah. there. Right. Just be patient. We'll get there. Yes, but I really still like. Yeah. yeah. So the yeah eventually the yes becomes an issue. But we're going to move on. Thank you.
for coming and bear with us, please. All right, uh, next is select board to consider approving <coughs> cannabis cultivator license for Vitegrity Farms. <laughs> Which, which has gone through zoning, gone through zoning yep. and, and they just have like, they basically have four conditions and only one of them seems to be a right. new condition. Um, and it's to do with filtering out smells. One, one of the things that um, the state is starting to do with these permits is when they're in a, when it's a home business, they're giving a warning that should have like the high, like, like uh, high, energy lights and confined spaces and they're just concerned that um, oh, fire fire, fire yeah. Yeah. So, that, so if he it's has concerned. an employee um, they have they're gonna have to they're gonna fall under that mm. purview of the fire marshal. so okay. there's a there was a letter that went to that fire marijuana fire well, it burns, you I, might, I might get back <laughs> I might get back on the fire back <laughs> yeah you can tell me I think the same thing but a hungry right. but a hungry happy fire fire yeah. <laughs> so um, I don't know. But there's, he's gone through all the right, and as, <coughs> and as we've previously discussed, if there's the only real reason to deny somebody is if they're violating our zoning bylaws, and yep. zoning is already and we don't get to do that. No, we they've already that. cleared it. I appreciated right. your your. <laughs> Forwarding that article. Well, right. I, can, yeah. I can make a motion to approve the uh, uh, cannabis cultivator license for the Tegrity Farms. Yeah. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Skipping three of those removed. Going to four. Select board to discuss bridge summary document and approve pedestrian bridge design characteristics and features. That sounds like an important one. So it is important because if you start thinking about wanting to get this built next year, and you start backing up the dates, and then yeah, you start well, realizing that you need to say, this is our design, please start engineering. Let's pick it. Yep, yeah. let's do it. We, what do you want, Sherry? Well, we can, the, the, the town that's right been working on it can tell you what the recommendations generally are. Well, go ahead. Know. I was going to say, we're You're here. in the group, but did you prepare something? Or yeah, here we go. Back so, my notes. Yeah, Look so, at Casey go, bailing and I, bailing <laughs> you guys out again. Right there. That one. Bang. There's a mock-up in the bottom left there on the screen yeah. of what it would look like. So it's a... Uh, oh, we're going to have a little patio out there? No, not that one. The one below. Right there. Oh, okay. That one. A little flowers on it. it looks and people, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Yeah. So um, that's the, the design that most people liked when we did our... That was option one. one. It was option one. Most people liked that one with, when we did our community outreach. Um, it's also the cheapest one. Um, I think we. I was going to say, let's not use cheap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <what> that <laughs> still <laughs> expensive. Still, still expensive. Still a couple hundred grand, but at least just for the bridge part. Um, so the I think. So for, I don't have it in front of me. Okay, so what we did like was the main. Go ahead. Um, we we can add to the the, the basis of design. Is a six foot wide bridge. Foot wide. The basis no, of the design basis is a six, six foot wide oh. bridge. We've agreed to engineer an eight foot wide bridge, which, which, which would be dual propose. traffic, right? That you could have like two way traffic, yep. Yep. dirt bikes, snowmobiles, <laughs> and, and <laughs> horses. I think the idea was by going to eight. So our current bridge is we have four, yeah. uh, four and a half or something. Yeah. No. Just under. So five. not even the width of a sidewalk. An ADA sidewalk. Right. Yeah. So so six would would be plumbing. Yep, it would work. Eight would be uh, cost more, but it makes it people could stop, hang out of the bridge, and you still get by. Still pass each other. People could two people could walk at the same time and not have to move over yeah. to two pass feet. Each two other. feet. And then we have a couple options for decking, which is fresh tree <coughs> or black. So oak, yes. the base. Basis for design right. is pressure treated. Is pressure treated. Yeah. And then there's railings, handrails. Steel? And then lighting. Wood. Uh, pressure treated. Everything's, the frame's steel. Every, the frame is all steel. Galvanized, galvanized steel. painted. Yeah, and we have to pick a color. Okay, so that, that was also, galvanized painted is an option. It's an add-on. Add add what about we think we want? 
Not right. aren't they doing them when they're just not Weathered sure? steel? Yeah. 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 Salt really wreaks havoc on them. Were, we but we know from history that salt really wreaks havoc on everything. It's yes. a matter of un, untreated is easier to treat than to have to sandblast and well, if it's I'm just asking. Yeah, no, you're good. You're I good. ask the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever's best is what I want. I think the galvanized option is the best. Galvanized. I like the galvanized soap. You galvanized, know, galvanized paint. Galvanized. Yeah. Oh, galvanized, galvanized. Well, I, there again, when you paint something, you're, you're right. no matter in Vermont you're, with the salt, encapsulating you're encapsulating moisture. moisture and it's always going to eventually rust from the inside out, no matter what you do. So why would you go pressure treated and not? So the galvanized is because the open face of the galvanized is what saves you. Pressure but it's so not it's years, not the right color years. really. I mean that looks nice. So the railings that we should be able to buy it on is galvanized and unpainted. Yeah, and if you go down you'll see that they're, they're pretty good. Level. So yeah, just yeah, but, to just to understand the customizing, yeah. or is it now basically up to us to choose the customizing? <laughs> Yeah. Like the community's chosen the general design. They don't the committee has presented some options. So they, tonight they we're saying like, this yeah, let's want. do this. Going forward okay. These things. Yeah. It would be awesome to have some sort of homage or connection to Lucian's railings if those are going to stay. But in the, public, in the public um, engagement, they, that was a big deal. Okay. Didn't Great. come out on top. Some lighting would be nice. Even with Lucian, it didn't come out on top. Okay. The lighting is, is part of it. Yeah. Just integrated integrated handrails. Yep. Yeah. Or integrated lighting in the handrails. Yeah. I mean, I'm all for whatever. I'm, I don't care really necessarily. It's, it looks great. Yep. I just want it built in the yes. Yeah. You know, to be minimal. Yeah. The maintenance to be the longevity of it. Stuff yep. is more important. Like, I don't really like the, the galvanized color, but I do know that the galvanized, standalone galvanized, will last longer than anything else. Yeah. So, uh, painted galvanized, I'm sure today's technology will get us well past our lifetime. So that might be a good option, but certainly that's what all I really care about is, so, let's build something to last absolutely as long as it'll last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then within, within reasonable cost. And I think that's very attractive. So honestly, our biggest cost, like the bridge itself that, you know, we're talking about for the bridge and the options, the cost of that is going to be overshadowed um, by the abutments and yes. the, all that other work. Um, Just the abutments hmm? and the retaining wall. Yeah, the yeah. retaining yeah. wall and all that. So, I mean, this really, isn't even the biggest part of the it is yeah. not the biggest part. So adding the, the galvanized to get us something that lasts longer, I think is probably worthwhile in the grand scheme of the project. Can I ask just a really quick question about the lighting? What's the difference between the point lights under the handrail and the lighting integrated in the handrail? That's so, a great question. So so the fixture. Do we need to have it integrated for a hundred thousand dollars? No, we do, do not. Do we need? To, no. Is it enough to have the point lights under the handrail? Great. So let's or, that. Or the nice lights. lights right there. Yeah, yeah, that's all we need. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's better than what we have yeah, before. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're better. <laughs> we're better. We, we do have an option to put in um, uh, lighting controls so we could have Ooh. all different types of colors. A disco party. No, oh, a right. LED now. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> season. Music <laughs> playing. God, this is the Christmas tree. Okay, sorry. All right, let's get away here, right here, to that bridge. Okay, so we can get, okay, great. Um, so wood? Yeah, wood. So we have a choice on the decking. You could do pressure treated. There, there was a composite choice that was not recommended because... They don't, I don't think... They don't do it. They said makes, they don't uh, do it. Oh, they won't. The contact doesn't do because it. Because it's too slick. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I think there's still some unknowns about what it is going to look like in 50 years. <laughs> so the so the other option that they threw out was a black locust decking, which is you know a lot just more money. What's the money difference? The money difference money. is twenty thousand more as the upcharge. But then they take it off. They take some amount off of the sheet. Well, it's forty eight thousand upcharge minus twenty eight thousand deduct from base. Net is twenty. I don't know where you got that. I got from Sherry. Is that better? Is this in the okay. package? Because I can go to it. So can go yeah, it. so it's, um, it's near the end. It's 23, I think. Okay. I think probably the same one, right? Yeah, the... yeah, I think so. It's just different format. Yeah, option. And again, yeah, I, I just, whichever of those woods is better. Yeah, right, there it is. Go up a little bit. Yeah, whichever. Uh, right oh, 23 of 25. Yeah. Whichever is. 
whichever is going to last longer, I'm for. I, I'm not a big pressure treated fan, so. No. If we could use something like black we Well, Tom just made a good, and I, I did see, I think, in the picture above that, we could use potentially pour concrete, or concrete slabs. On the deck? Isn't that mm -hmm. a weight issue? <coughs> right, Maybe. light, lightweight mm -hmm. deck concrete. Mm -hmm. Deck yeah. concrete. Lightweight. Oh. Yep. Well, a couple might inches. Not be a bad idea. That's not a great idea. It would be How worth looking into. Yeah. What's that? How does it handle the winter? Good. Like our sidewalks would? Yeah. This is a no salt area so, anyway. Yeah. See? It's worth asking what the price is. Yeah. It's worth asking about It is because the the they make lightweight deck concrete now yeah, with that's the texture. What that is. It you wouldn't see be the concrete. concrete above. Yeah. You see the one above it? Yeah. Or is yeah. it like handle? That's concrete. Yeah. I probably I do it. asphalt too if you really want. <laughs> so I have a question. There's A and B options for the additional cost. Um, this is where we need to come down through and choose. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, should we so, start, so at the start at the top. Okay, so the H section or under H, H. We like H section. So, yeah, the recommendation of the group was the H section. Great. Because it's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and also the underhung, good. yeah, it, it looks, looks good, good too. It, it looks look good. As heavy. Yeah. Right, the underhung had huge um, beams oh, underneath. On top in your face, right? right. No, girders underneath. 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 So, they when you're looking from the side, it made the bridge look chunkier. Well, so the actual so the actual structural part of the bridge is part of the, <coughs> the, the features. Right, right. In the in the eight section. Yep. Yeah. Structure is in the in the bridge itself, railing itself. Yep, exactly. Which is what we're seeing in most bridges nowadays. Seems like it's worth sixty thousand dollars to add a couple of feet to I the think whole so, thing. Yeah. Might as well. I think it makes it nice. Yeah. It's gonna make it a lot easier to take care of it. Oh, that's true too. We'll get across it. We'll get across it. And then, so, our, so the decking material. Um, oh, well, we took a note to inquire. Yeah, so we can question about. So we have the pressure treated option, or we have the black locust option, but we'd like to uh, source a local uh, black locust option if possible, from a, or have it milled out in a local mill. And then that way we'd have some extra on hand if you need to There's a decent amount of black there's a decent amount of black locusts right by yes, Wiz's house. Wiz, Wiz <laughs> that's what I said. Like a four some? month locust trees that need to come down. <laughs> yeah, she does. Let's right do by the Daniels block building. Yeah. Let's take them. Yeah. Are they black locusts? But we're okay. gonna check out the cement thing. Yeah. So I ain't never seen a black locust. Yeah, yeah, right here. It's really weird. Is there enough board feeding? Well, since we can find it out for, I would like. We're gonna check on the concrete. We're gonna check on the concrete though. Yeah. Just, just, just. So concrete, and then there. But it sounds like people are leaning towards black locust, not yes. pressure feeded. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I always liked it better. Okay. Uh, Next finish, paint, just straight up painted steel is the base, and then the upgrade is to galvanize it first and then paint it. Can we, can we ask what the, what the cost difference is if we just have it galvanized and don't paint it? If that's um, what we lean towards, or is yeah. that like I wonder this? if it's hot dip. The galvanize is the most, that, I think painting it is going to be like 10,000. I think the galvanized okay. is yeah, the galvanized. Hot dip galvanized right. would be the most. So yeah. I don't have a problem with painting with, I'm just, I'm sure the technology, painted. yeah, I'm sure the technology now is painted definitely not, yeah, painted steel is out. Okay. I agree. Yeah, painted yeah. steel sounds like a bad idea. Yeah. Railings. Railings with the... No railings. If you ain't, <laughs> so, if you ain't tough, you ain't crossing. <laughs> There's the vert, so the vertical picketed railings are right, just to the right of that. You see the picture? The brown? Yep. Okay. Yeah, actually both of them. And then, um, so that's that's similar, similar to what the fence looks like, right? Yeah. Vertical and then, I mean, it's not a match, but it's a similar. Well. It's both vertical. They're not like horizontal. Or so that's better to plate. No. Yeah. And then that's that. Those are steel? Down, the weathered steel. Yeah. So one. what's the wood cap top that's like over the top railing? No, that would be on the railing. The railing is what you hold with your hand. The hand. Oh. So it would have a, have a, like a, Flat top. So you could get some splinters as you're walking around. But it's going to be how wide? 42 inches? Uh, whatever, the, um, whatever the standard is. ADA would be. Yeah. Probably it's, 42. It's, you're, 
it's just the rail, like the railings. So you're still going to have that, that actual bridge, and the. Right. This is just going to fall off the bridge. The railings are inside the. Yeah. yeah. So the, the the picture at the bottom. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this, but the the picture at the bottom, the brown one. It looks to me like there's a handrail running halfway. Vertical pickets with yeah, IPE rub rail. That's a rub the rail. The rub rail. And this, these are your vertical pickets. Ver vertical, vertical pickets, and then a, that top is the bridge structure. And so. then that's part of the bridge. Right. Yeah, but the, can you the, show us where the handrail would be? Yeah, right on top. Yeah. There you go. Right on top turn. of the pickets. It'd be ten. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a rub rail. Is so that other piece of bridge? That's just okay. flat. Okay. Just a board. Yeah. That's just so you don't stick it. That's like a bump it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so Tommy bumps it with a I think I get it. Oh, I'm going to plow that with that. I'm seeing feet water. Oh. I mean, I don't know if it matters a whole lot, but. So, um, so, so are, we deciding, are we deciding if we need if we need a wood cap top? Is it the next choice? I feel like, personally, grand? I don't need one. No. We don't need one. What is that? The wood cap top. No. So, no. On the rail. Nope. It's just we don't need that right? for water and yeah. then suck it to deal with yeah. it. So we, we just want option A there, the vertical okay. pickets. Yeah. 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 Uh, lighting. lighting. So light if we want some lighting, B and C are roughly equivalent in price. One of them is integrated looking down from the handrail and the other one is this little thing that attaches on each post and looks down. And I don't think that the to question me, is which one is most vandalizable <laughs> or <laughs> easiest to re re yeah. replace easiest those to both. Yeah. They're probably both a pain. <laughs> both be oh, asked. I don't know if you got an answer. We didn't. We didn't. I, I missed that. We're talking about the lighting. You, I know you inquired about what's the. I said the mouse how light how is railing post. But you asked can about you how do you change it? They got to get us that hour. But. Uh, do we assume that the $25,000? Okay, so this, yeah. the post mounted lighting is this little box, right? That's on each individual post. And then this is what it would look like with on the railing, right? It's like under the. What page? This is on the same page of the pathway. It's just 25. higher up on the slide. It's on 23. It might have gotten into, it's right if you go down a little bit, Casey. And then, yep, right, right there. there. So that's the post mounted light. How, where is everybody? Oh, I see. I've seen those yeah. before. Yeah. And then those are under the railing. But the under the railing yeah. one, I don't The railing ones are the most expensive. The yeah. post? So no, so there's an under the railing that's not. No, under they're the same price. Basically the same price. So the point like. I chose the, what I, I thought that it was like the 27000 Yeah. Right, $2,000 more. That's under the handrail. Under the handrail. Which, which, when we think about accessibility, to. that's also what you want, right? Is you want people Under to the handrail looks a lot less. Knockable in the on yeah. the post one. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's not going to get back. On the post one, it kind of sticks out there. You can take off. Yeah. Too easy yeah. To, yeah, yeah, it's just going to be kicking. Kids yeah. are going to be kicking it. It's going to be a target for everything. So either the integrated. So you want C. <coughs> so C. Option C. Yeah. Well, no, because that's different. Those we said we said we did not want more. the integrated handrail, which is the hundred thousand dollar one. Right. So the point lights under handrail is not it's not that last option. It's the middle option, because that's the You're integrated right. option, okay. which is the really expensive. Which one. I can't even uh, you can't see even, that you can't one. see like the detail of the C option. It's just like the. That's the A option right there, and that's gotta go. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. that bridge is ugly. Sure effect, Never realized that bridge was so ugly. You see, so maybe I don't there's know if the there's path. a detail of it. It's just lit. I see. Yeah. Well, I think we want to go with the C anyway. C. C. See? This is the one I chose. Yeah. See? This is the one everybody else chose. Yeah. All right. See, they're into our choosing. Awesome. So it, that's everything except. Well, that, Except that, um, How we're gonna pay for it. well, there's a concrete question <laughs> yeah. about the concrete decking. The and there's, yep. there's still the issue about how difficult it is to change the lights and they have to get that and right. Protect, yeah. But it looks like you just screw out and yeah. replace that. And hopefully they're very long lived. Like, I mean, I just yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah so everything's. So the big structure was H section. Yeah. Eight foot deck width. Yeah. 
The decking material, black locust. Oh, unless the concrete is appealing. I don't know how we're going to do that after yeah, the fact. Out of concrete. I don't think it. it's going to work, but right, right. there might be a free cast concrete out there. Told I would donate those trees. <laughs> Wiz has black locust. I, yeah. I think we should just do black locust. I do, I do too. Forget the concrete. Forget the concrete. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's just settle it. Yeah, let's go with black locust. Let's move this far. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're just going to get the, yeah, forget the concrete. And then finish with painting and galvanize. Yeah. We've got to choose the color. Um, black. Is that's not me. Contact, I'm not choosing um, color. Is option A the vertical picket railings? Yep. And the lighting is the point lights under the handrail. Yeah. C. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there was a color Black. for the decking. Is that? Or the, it's the galvanized that's I'm, the color. Or, yeah, I assume they're going to give us I'm hearing two votes for black. Chips, but they're going to give us palette paint chips. Yeah. But why wouldn't we just do black? Because then it black blends with solutions. Black or a dark brown or something yeah, like that. Easier to source black usually. I let the more art type people decide what color we should have. All right, the artsy parties. Somebody with an eye for that. Somebody should have color black. Sherry and Kaylee are going to work on the color after. So that's going to be your last. And the important thing is, where's my name plat go? Yeah. Like, that's the last thing they're going to do to the bridge is paint it. So. Right. Last thing we do is put this bridge. Last thing we do is swing it in place. Danny Hale Bridge. The Memorial Bridge? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, so are there any other decisions that we need to make for this? Uh, yeah, let's hope we get it done. Okay. For now, yeah. So then for the bridge, uh, this is my like rough calculations, that's about like $450,000 just for the bridge and those customizations. Mm -hmm. Let's scroll up to the... four fifty. Just with all the... More than that. Hmm? Yeah. Just, just for the bridge. And the customization, right? Well, just below that one is the cost summary. Or the design, I guess. Right there. So, this, I think, is very high. This is everything? Yeah. With a 10% contingency and. Million. Yeah. So, we're, yeah. Just about one hundred fifty thousand off. If we got the tan. I think this is a high estimate. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. After what we want it right now. Yeah. So, Sheriff, you want to say that more loudly? So, if what it's at, I can't. I can't. It's just that on there. One hundred seventy-one thousand five hundred dollars construction cost, and then seventy-seven thousand five hundred dollars for design and engineering. Which a total of 1,049,210. So we have 700 now, right? 620. So, and we're hoping to apply for the transportation grant. If we can get the rest of our, another 200,000, if we can get the information quickly enough put Which, together. And one of the hitches, it, it's due, the, the grant is due. We made headway on that. On, July, on January 31st, but the Section 106 could be problematic, <coughs> but we're hopeful about it. So that leaves us about 400 off. I don't think it's going to cost as much as they say it is. This is a this is a high no. level estimate. That would leave us about 200 off. 200. I'm sorry. Yeah. Two, I, I forgot to say. And less than that off. because we knocked off one of those options that was yeah. the lighting and was the yeah. American. And you're getting your locust free. Yeah. <laughs> free the locust. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Right. No. Let's skip. No, let's so, move yeah. on. Great. Can I just pick one? Like, go ahead. Really quick? So this is, this is more about, not about the new bridge, mm. but under demolition of existing bridge structure. Um, I think it would be really cool, especially since we have that Vorak grant to make some sort of kiosk hangout at the Daniels Block building to use some of the structure to create like a kid's swinging bridge or some sort of like do something as a that swinging bridge rather than just like taking it all to AMR. We've talked about it in the, in the so discussions about the park, but so we'll be cool. Because it's a historical structure that we're taking down, yeah. the section 106 will come back with an adverse, adverse opinion. opinion. Yeah. So 
we will have to do something with that okay. as a memorandum to retain of agreement the... to get the funding from. Okay. Friends. Great. So that's been discussed. And awesome. I think that's a great idea. Yep. Awesome. And we'll have a, a plaque, some sort of picture outlining <laughs> what the old, where the old bridge was, what it looked like, who built it, kind of thing. How long it lasted. And the, last and the bridge before that, and the bridge before that. <laughs> okay. Papa Bridge, Grandpapa Bridge. Yeah. Awesome, this is exciting. Yeah, so with any luck. We're getting there. We're getting there. With any luck. Believe it or not, the timeline is tight to get it built next year. Timeline is very tight, and that's why we need to make these decisions All right. tonight, because we need to get that thing put out All in favor. Bid. We did it. Yeah. And we need to tell context that they can build this thing. Because it's going to take them how many months? Six months. Six months, and they're in North Carolina, and then what do they do? Drive it up here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Basically. So the board generally agreed on all those. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's great. We're going to move along to item five. This is to review and authorize a municipal resolution for downtown transportation fund grant for said bridge. This is what you were just yeah. talking about, right, Sherry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we need there's it's in here. I yep. read it. Yeah. I read it. Should be resolved. Yeah. Uh, I can motion to authorize a municipal resolution grant for the transportation fund if we need to do that. Second. Uh, any discussion? Basically says we're going to apply for funding uh, for the state of Vermont for the 2023 budget act. Which this was a uh, grant that I brought up in the previous manager's report that you gave me the informal on. So yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why we're going forward with this. Any, so any more discussion about this? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Tracy, for working on that for us. Good job, Tracy. Um, and it's available to us because we're getting our downtown designation. Sounds good. Tracy says thanks to everyone she's signing off. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks, Tracy. Oh, I didn't even know she was. <laughs> um, next, uh, where are we? Uh, Six. Now we have the draft. Budget. 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 Uh, so look forward to discuss the time date of public hearing um, about the gravel pit bond. So just to harp on about this in case anybody's following along and doesn't know this, the town is, um, our current gravel pit is going to be played out in a year or two. And um, we have an opportunity, a very good opportunity to buy a new gravel pit that's located on Route 14 heading north out of town. Um, and we have a um, uh, option draft purchase a draft agreement. purchase and sales agreement on that and we're going to put it to a bond vote to the people on town meeting day and um, it'll it'll be a net benefit to the town because over the time that we own the thing it'll be a reduction in our gravel costs and our sand costs anyway Sorry, so I'm setting the stage there. So we need to warn that. Um, we have a meeting, we have a select board meeting the 2nd of March, right? That's the yeah. first Thursday. Can we have it the same day? We could have it before the meeting. That, yeah. That always yeah. works pretty well. It does work pretty well. 2nd of March, that's when we're having a uh -oh. town meeting, though. He's right? in that calendar no, up March there. March 7th is town the meeting. meeting. So is that, that's our pre town meeting? Town meeting? Oh, yeah, probably so. Oh, yeah. So Which, that's a good time to do that's it. That's perfect time to do it. Like, as the public hearing for the gravel I think so. We did that I think last so. time with the charter. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Why don't we need it? Why don't we need it five? On the five. second. No. Wait, so, oh, we have a meeting on the second. Town meeting is seven. And town meeting is seven. Got it. Or 515, like, because we don't, like. Okay. Sure. Yeah, you give people time. Um, I don't, I'm not sure I'm here on the second, but that doesn't matter. People historically have not gone, so I think 5.30 is fine. Okay. Um, you don't know if you're going to be here. Jeez. But we need another one, right? 
just one. No? We just need one? Information meeting for town meeting. Oh, between these dates. Okay, that's got it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's better than having a special meeting. meeting. Right. Yeah. That's window. way better than having a special meeting yeah. on an odd day and odd night. Yeah, where yeah. nobody's going to come. And Tanya's got most of that stuff by March. She should have most of that stuff by March tomorrow. Okay. The bond information. And are we going to get that before that meeting? The so we'll look at it as a board. There'll be bond stuff, like a resolution. Oh, okay. Things yeah. That Great. She'll have. Great. Thank you. You said that I want to clarify something. You said it was a new gravel bed. It's slightly used. <laughs> Existing. But the active yes. and permit. The active yes. permit just got renewed. Which is a beautiful Which thing. Is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So next up is recap of the entire FY24 draft Ooh. budget. And I noticed top to bottom. Casey had notes in the version that she sent to us on the side. So there are items that we wanted to call our attention to, I think. Okay. So I'm going to start with the revenue and budget summary and then we'll go through just right through my sheets here. Um, I need to share my screen with you. Okay. Uh, you're driving two computers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, Isn't this so much nicer than that screen? It's a lot easier for me to read, even though it's smaller. You, uh, the you guys, better. we should come to my office. You want to see a setup? It's nicer for us, but I guess we it's still pretty We got 272. Uh, I got two screens. Right, right. Okay, so in revenues, the one thing I want to discuss is the possibility of using our remaining uncommitted ARPA funds, which is from just using them as revenue. Yes. Yeah. And injecting that into yep. this budget um, as a one-time amount. So that was something for consideration. It is in here, so when we get to the whole first rate and what it what it does for us. So um, so that that was my question there. In highway, um, these notes here. Um, over time, looking at um, usually, so I did not increase the full amount of what we anticipate it would cost. Kind of take a gamble on like what we spent in 22, assuming we'll be higher, and added some cushion in for that. Um, so it only increased it by 3,000 year over year. So it's a little bit of a gamble, but. Boy, it doesn't pay much to be sewer operator, does it? That's just okay. That's just for time that um, that the sewer I'm, operator plows, I'm the, and so it's very <laughs> small. So yeah. What could go wrong in that business? Stop stirring the pot. And then under the winter sand, That's assuming we get the pit, pit, that was reduced for this year only because. Um, there's how much? There's two there's, seasons of winter sand that are yes. in the out there. So, yeah. we did not reduce travel though because there's still construction costs. So, that winter sand, that's just the purchase cost. <coughs> the trucking cost isn't in there, right? Trucking processing. Right. That's not in there. So it's the same as the process. It's still going to screen it. It's screen. Right, but there's two right. years screens worth there right. now. Is what you're saying. We're, is what you're saying is we already have two years screen. Two saying. years of screen saying. Right. So that no, means we need to screen again. So we have to screen again. No. 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 Okay. no. We were just talking about what's what's right. in, what's in there. But trucking is not in that number. That's just the purchase price that well, no, we have. Yes. That we have diesel fuel for I mean, Right. Right. But that's not set aside. Somebody before. else if we were purchasing it. So. I know. I guess I'm wondering like if we just look at the budget, if we either look at the actual from 21 to 22 or the budget 22 to 23, is that number just the purchase price of yes. this? Yes. Right. Yeah. That's always what it is, the purchase price of this. Yes. And the, the trucking and everything is extra. General operating expense. Right. It comes out of... Just like, it doesn't matter if the truck is in the gravel. So do we... So if we get... If the voters uh, vote to buy that pit, where where does that ten thousand dollars go? 
Because we're so not buying. We had it at sand. zero. We don't think it's a good idea to gamble in on case, the bond vote. In case yeah. the bond vote doesn't right. pass. Right. I see. I agree. Got it. Yeah. As well as. I'm with you now. The, I and I would suggest if we get two years ahead, we should get into the cycle of always having a year ahead. Yeah. It'd be nice. Because you know, then if there's a hiccup a somewhere. This year, but I mean, if we have a stockpile and we've got room, and it, it would always be good if we needed to skip a year. Yeah, if there was some hiccup and you couldn't do a year. Something. Yeah. Okay. What's going to happen with all the other material that's up there, all the topsoil? Are we going to be able to sell that? Can we use that? The topsoil is going to be retained by the current right. owner yeah. for, with a lease. Yeah. That's his material. No, that's good. Yeah. He's got quite a bit of processed material yeah. already. Uh, so everything other than the sand is processed. He's there's uh, roughly $128,000 worth of processed material that would go to the sale. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we leave the 10000 in as sort of a hedge in case the mm -hmm. bond vote doesn't pass and we don't end up and we're, we're still buying sand. <coughs> okay. There really hasn't been any changes in this since last time. Um, the discussion item was health officer, whether or not um, yeah. we want, we nobody want wants else. to do it. Um, Eric is actually our health officer currently because if fault. nobody does it, then it defaults to the select board chair. And the town manager is the deputy. Um, who does a lot of the work? Thank you. Oh my goodness, I get buddy, buddy flash, so flag with flashes here. <laughs> Deputy Dog and his I, chief sheriff. Whether or not that needs to be hired to entice somebody to want to do it. What's the, uh, I know the answer to this, is, is there's the function of that office that is important to the town. Yeah. Well, yeah. But you can't force people to volunteer. Yeah. So what professional state laws that are enforced? Yeah, yeah what there is some aspect of it where you're forcing state right statutes. Yeah. That, so Not that's what I'm saying. Ordinances. It's one of those things. There's some that, training required and there's I mean Well at least a book like to read. So yeah, six hundred dollars is not gonna get you some of it's no, right. That's the point. Spend that, and um, I thought it just. But what are our options? It should be at least as much as like a full-time position. Yeah. Well, no. Yes. So what is that position? I mean, is that does that does it need to be? That's my point. We I guess. Pay by the call. Is what what would we hire? I mean, for example, if you know, those, where, where's your background? What do we hire a doctor to do this, or does it need to be the, you know the sewer guy or the what? I don't know. What is a job description, and what does it look like? Who would, who would we hire? Where are the where are we at with the job description idea? Well, that that's in it's it's the job the description state. for the health like officer the is, is by statute. Yes. Yeah. It's in our it's in our handbook. Yeah. You know, and we advertised yeah. it and said here's a link to the ability to <coughs> exactly yes. what that person has to do. Um, well, it should probably be at least what a select board member. That's what I thought. The other piece is that we have animal control, for instance, that is a monthly stipend all throughout the year to, re to respond to all of the calls. Or you can pay them per, like if they have to go do a property inspection. Well, hopefully we won't have to do property inspections. Like, that's not practical. Well, that's that's, that's supposed to be taken care of by the Vermont. Um, I've gone with Opie and I've gone by myself. Like TV. I'm just trying to figure out who we were saying. You see what I'm saying? I totally, I totally understand. Like who would, who who do you look to if you could hire somebody like this? Who would it be? Rescue squad volunteers dried up, but now we hire paramedics. That was, you know, we had to hire. Our volunteers dried up for health. So yeah, who do we are? Sure. What's what's that Somebody skill set? That we need? Retired from. That. I would I would say okay. I, I would say somebody who's level headed, who's not going to explode in, in a public setting, like not going to go off on somebody, who can listen and be objective <coughs> and help people through. You're saying I'm out. Okay. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Some background in healthcare, yes. 
rescue, maybe. Mm, no, I don't police. think it's either. No, maybe I think it's more law like enforcement, no, compassion. Compassion and inf some and enforcement, enforcement, though. It is an enforcement. Because you're position. looking at, yeah, because you Compliant, not enforcement as much as compliance. compliance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you need to look at the regs. Right. And, so you need, and you need to look at the situation. You have to be willing to, you know. To your make, point, it's a people person. It's a problem solving yeah. job. Yes. It's not, you've got to work with people to solve situations. You have to do situations. email. Can we beg Larry? Who the hell? I was going to say Larry Hamill can't can pilot on him. Can we beg Larry to do it? Because he's doing all the no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Larry, so Larry does not want to. He's already he's not do that. Dog <laughs> yeah. No. So there are certain parts of the animal okay. control yeah. officer job that he's not willing to do. Okay. Which sure. Is, so he's sure. not a good candidate. So it's. Yeah. Which is well for tonight's discussion. I don't really know. Like for I don't think raising it to thousand dollars is going to change our situation right now. I know it's a deeper situation. So if we're budget talking, let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. And when do we have any idea when? So the state's supposed to be taking over part of it, the rental. I just had an idea that we might be able to entice one of our officers to take on this role for an extra duty. Stipend. Stipend. I think that. But I'd have to run that by the chief. Yeah, run it by him. See what he thinks. Hopefully he's not Yeah, but for tonight's discussion, we're not going to change the budget of the amount. Yeah, because what would we do? And if I sit, if I continue to sit in it, then that's fine. Maybe we should make it cheaper, please. I didn't even know. I didn't even know I was getting excited. Okay, so we're... It doubles your day almost. All. Because of the next meeting, we'll be looking for our final draft. So we're going to wait until the next meeting. Okay, get some steps. Let's do it. Move it on. Sorry, what changed in PD? I said just a few small things, adjustments. Oh, um, but you didn't make any notes about discussion there? No, okay. exactly. So I'm just asking if there's any questions on this. Uh, just the Chief's confident. There's a lots of pluses and minuses on this. It's the least amount of increase at all. I know that, but there's a lot of movement, so yeah. I'm getting on. There's a lot of work in that budget. Yeah. That's yeah. my point. If he's comfortable with it, I'm following his lead. Because there's a lot of movement. That's a lot of work right there to try to get mm -hmm. get what get the desired outcome. Yeah. Going, yeah, and going forward, we still are thinking about trying to get other uh, work in with other towns to mm -hmm. help sh share yeah. this cost. Okay. All right. Next. Buildings, buildings one, I should say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there wasn't really anything for discussion here. I mentioned, I think last time that um, as we were, you had mentioned, Eric, to look at fuel prices. Mm -hmm. Even when the prices have come down, um, some since we initially started discussion, I um, took a two-year average of use <coughs> and used 450 a gallon and was able to reduce some of the fuel oil amounts that were in here from our original draft. So that's where those numbers come from. So they're not as high yeah. as they were. So, yeah, and the thing about that is we just don't know. We don't know, but I mean, that's, I used a two-year average of usage and yeah. 450 a gallon. And lately, some of those, it, it fluctuates because we're at market mm -hmm. price. I think we had one the other day that was 350, 380. Like, so take them a little bit of the envelope, but I'm using 450. And if we can lock in a price next year, yeah. Jen, what we see. Right. Yeah. yeah, I don't see well, that happening until. You don't think so? Wow. Well, no, I don't. Know. I wish I did. Yeah. You know, but I'm saying you're pretty straightening out a lot of these world right. issues that are going to. Yeah, that are driving that. Because you're doing some of that stuff. We've talked about that, so we have for the tone. I was just also mentioned, too, I know that. Um, Bill Shinsey has had a hard time getting people to join the Energy Committee, but it would be great in the future to work on some um, efficiency Vermont work for some of our older buildings to help. Yeah. We just, just, a lot of we just installed yeah. two hybrid hot water heaters awesome. from a grant that Heart of Electric gave us. 
Um, I'm looking at a heat pump for the community center side. Well, that furnace is on borrowed time and it's not that efficient. Um, so yeah, we are looking into that. And I, I've been it's about 45 that. degrees the other night. We were there. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's but the Snowville Club's cold. Yeah. <laughs> the times are tough. Yeah. Okay, and then um, I have a question. So then there's a second page to buildings. Okay. Like overflow, um, so they could all be on one. Um, basically, the updated insurance figure. So I mean, the townhouse shows it's going up twenty percent, but it's it's four hundred dollars just because it's a small budget. So right. um, insurance, um, no changes for Pico, Carry Road. Yellow Barn, um, there's a master lease for the water and wastewater that we'll have to address that's probably going to add a couple hundred dollars um, to our annual fee. So that's why what is, that is. The, why is the townhouse so high with the LCT passing? Yeah, because, because, well, look at the depot, 150 bucks. Have, because you have a balcony probably, and you have programs yeah. with a lot of people yeah. that show them in there. Yeah, capacity. That's my, that's, that's my thought. Capacity. I yeah. thought it was more about replacement than because no, we general pay liability. liability insurance for that, for the balcony and the interior. Okay, this is so about building replacement. Okay. And yeah, that my my point has been screener. for years. That's that building, really, if it burns down, it won't be replaced. So why do we have to pay so much more? And why is the depot only a hundred and fifty? Like is it? Because the depot is just shed. You don't want to ask the question. We can't. Yeah. No, I mean, the, the depot has a new, or the, the depot has a new roof. It's like, in, in terms of, I'm not an insurance salesman. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, like, I would say that that building is, just, is less rich. Yeah, there's, there's a significant difference in the Associated with that building. But I'm sure okay, it's so like lost the the building. Um, yeah, I'm sure they'll fix it. If, if, if it's based they'll on some sort of place of value. Yeah, we can I know that here you go, John. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I would there be happy go. to inquire on that. Yes, anytime we can get the insurance it's, companies to lower their rates. If it, for that. No, it, it won't be replaced. So it shouldn't be based on any kind of replacement value. It's not replaceable. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Uh, it's you, not, could, you could rebuild it. No, it wouldn't be rebuilt in this. It wouldn't be the same building. So it's not replaceable in that way. But I, we are paying liability insurance on an elevator because they won't sell it unless it's a package deal and it includes an elevator. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna say. So, I, I, just, I question it. I just, I'm just going to say, when you talk to them and ask about why is the townhouse is so high, don't compare it to the depot, because I can just see yeah, the right. answer oh, coming. That's low. Right. Ask, <laughs> oh, ask, God, you contact. Ask, ask, ask what it's based on. Okay. It's not about the liability. Yeah. Yeah. I assume we well, there's significant sure structural difference it, it, between it, it, those buildings. Yeah, the foundations and such that are. Yeah. They're not even. Yeah, I know, but the, they're not even. The depot is a barn. The townhouse is a townhouse. It's a real yeah. building. Do we it's, have? There's a difference. Highway garage insurance for through somebody else. No, it's on um, buildings one here. Um, oh, actually, so they're. Oh, it's you know why? Budget. Because in high, because <coughs> there, they have a. Is it, there's a line here that's, that's VLCT yeah, okay. passive that okay. covers the building. Everything. Here, so I can't really separate it out. That's Great. Why. But yes. Great. Okay. All right. Um, Next. Moving on. Fire and line items. I don't think there was any items. Oh yes, there was an item for discussion. Sorry. Um, it was back to the request that was received from the Fairview and Maple Street mm -hmm. cemeteries, no, no, it was Main, Main Street. Main Street and Fairview cemeteries, yep. which the request was for eighteen thousand dollars of additional money for stone repair. And before the last meeting I had so normally our budget is eighteen, which is Sandborn Cemetery and we give Fairview and Main Street money to cover their so that's where the 18,000 that's in the current budget is. So they're asking for 18 more, so it would be 36. But I 
and making a suggestion that if you decide to move forward with giving those funds, that it be done as six thousand dollars over three years. So if I you decide to do that, the state no longer requires the cemetery commission to repair stones. There was a time when they did, not very long ago, but, but the law has changed. And so repairing stones is a nice thing to do, but it's not a requirement of the cemetery commission anymore. I would also add that every cemetery, Sam Ward included, should have their own savings and capital funds. Yep. So I yep. think that that is where they should start. Yep. Yep. And that, because that's basically every sale that we make that money goes to that fund that could be yep. used for that cemetery. And we do have about, I didn't know, maybe <coughs> the Harvick runs, I mean, maybe, maybe we make that number, especially since we only spent 17 last year. I mean, I would almost keep it at 18, yeah, but that's too. conservative. So well, that's I mean, what I'm let's say if you did that, right? And so they had made a request, they had sent you letters and Call yeah. That's why something is built in there for. You want to take it out? It's Absolutely. great, great to review. I'm glad you're bringing it back to our attention. But yeah. my, my feeling is that 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 type of work in the cemetery should be taken out of the cemetery's fund. Right. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So just leave that. That takes yeah. care of that. Because we have a capital fund for cemeteries, right? As well, we do, and then there were like as um, Sam Warren has there funds are. set aside for potential repair. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they probably do too. I mean, both. Yeah. Well, it, it seems like they the should. sale mm -hmm. lots that money would be mm -hmm. available right. because mm -hmm. we're paying for the money. Mm -hmm. The is already paying for right. all of Right. Which is weird too. Mm -hmm. So maybe mm -hmm. right. there okay. would be some extra costs for some of those. The total plot amount doesn't go to the section that goes to whoever owns the cemetery, which is a decent amount of money. So I guess the I guess if they wanted, like in my mind, if they wanted to make a request again, having showing us where their their budget and where their money is coming from, rather than just a letter saying we need this money, because that's all I saw was I'm missing no, that's all it was. So if there was something that was like we're putting in this amount of money, we need the town to put in this amount of money, that would be a little. Understandable. This is what we're going to accomplish with the money. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're not funding that for now. Right? Okay. Okay. So that's take. That's take eighteen. Is that what we're deciding? This schedule is designed to pay, basically pay cash for things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct. And, so if you're, and if you're leasing right. something, you're leasing you don't something. need it. Yeah. yeah. I totally understand. Yep. Yeah. And so, yeah, everything's there. Questions about this? No. Okay. Capital fires, pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, there's two hundred. When, when are we replacing the broken truck? Yeah. 2030? 2030. Black question. I think we should. Uh, you guys say that like it's a lot of ways. You can move it up. Oh, you can move it up some. Um, That's for the fire chief to work out with the town manager. Yeah. I'm wrestling with the town meeting day. <laughs> I'm wrestling with the fire chief. It's bony, but he's good himself. It'd be worth watching. So, I just wanna, uh, so once again, for 2024, it's only 15000 but keep in mind we have two fire truck bonds. 
those are being paid out, paid out line items, so they don't need to, they're just in a different place. Yep. Okay. Um, capital roads, um, we did manage to sort of um, adjust that last time so that we would actually be able to do some paving after the center road, presumably um, hoping to get some aid, state aid in 26 and then contribute 550 and we said center road partial because it's probably not going to be the whole thing. So when we, is that the thing where we need to, uh, there's like, you come up higher on the list if you haven't asked for money in a while? And yes. Okay. And it's within our district. Mm -hmm. It's like a district turn. And it's like 175,000. For the Mac Hill Road yep. project. And I think it was one other thing yep. we used it. Yep. Yep. So yep. that we were, kind of put us way down on the bottom of the list. Right. We got a couple of good ones that are right and then, together. And then that's, but that's been a couple years now. So well, it's yeah, like kind of. We wait till 2026 to pay center road. It's going to be pretty lovely. Yeah. I would just go back to dirt road. I say that every time I drive out of it. So I don't drive out of it anymore. Yeah. So um, that's the plan here. Um, we'll work on that. Capital General. Um, just a couple items here was um, sidewalk expense and guardrails, if that amount should be higher since we're looking at developing a replacement schedule for sidewalks similar to paving. Um, the road crew has been doing some sidewalk inventory, taking measurements, working on that with our office to have a list of all the different sidewalks so that great. we can get a handle on That's great. that. So to have some sort of schedule like paving. Um, so, and guardrails as well. They did guardrail inventory, so they're working on really building on that. And so that was, you know, should we be going higher on that? No, we want to complete that work. Because sidewalk, for instance, right now is about 34,000, 32,000, I think, with this year's allocation. So, I mean, that would get us some work done, but should we be doing more than 10 was sort of the question there. And the same thing with guardrails. So, the steel's really expensive. When do we, what's for, it? What? Well, for example, if we did, we, we replace or rehab the sidewalk from like the old flood zone lot down to pull and lumber would be about a hundred grand. Oh. Well, it'd be more than that. It'd be a fix by the flood zone, so. Mm -hmm. Ready? That's, Ready just, yeah. that's just concrete cost. Yeah. Right, that's, right. that's, that's all that is. That's not an actual <coughs> contractor right. coming in and doing it. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm basing that on what Jeff gave me for price last yeah, year, yeah. and then I kind of increased it another hundred dollars more, yeah. more a yard, because everything else has gone up. So, so that's doing it like you did this one. Yes, like we, we were supposed to right? yeah. it and prep it, and they were supposed to come forward and do it all. So, do we I thought you guys ended up doing. They did it all. Else I see. Else to do it. Yeah. Never again. And basically. <laughs> So is that came out nice. Well, there's, I mean, we got some issues, for example, all the way from the Catholic Church to Magville. Yeah, or the entirety of the Harvick. But that, 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 but that <laughs> yeah. entire, well, I'm a Harvard guy, so. Um, That's part of Harvard. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying. Oh, they're all I over. Mean, all so over. Like, why don't we have a sidewalk that goes to the trailer park? Yeah. So the kids walk from the trailer park to school. But that is, my point is, is what's there is not. Is not uh, isn't right. No, you know isn't. what I'm saying. You can't just put pavement down through there again. It's not fixing the issue. Same with the flood zone. Just putting a little bit of pavement around the ledges. We wouldn't do that. Doesn't. We don't want to do that. Right. So my yeah. point being is yeah. a per foot concrete price it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Story. Doesn't tell the It's story. not even close to what it's actually going to cost. No. My point. It gives us a ball. No. For but it doesn't though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's my point. Uh, yeah, that's my point. The, 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 in, the engineering alone will be right. as much as the concrete purchase price. Mm -hmm. So well, your point Tom's is it'll engineer. take us 100 years. It's a lot more. $10,000 is ain't going to get it done yeah. ever. So, so that's the question before us is do we really want to. But 20000 isn't going to get it done either. That's kind of where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah. It's a big you, 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 you
is that you do the sidewalk at the same time. Right. You put the water main in the sidewalk like we did going up South Main. Yeah, I agree. Okay, in the project. Yes. But if we have a schedule like, like mm -hmm. with our paving schedule, where we basically say, okay, we're going to do, which we should, we should say, okay, mm -hmm. East Hardwick in 2026 or whatever. Yep. And then we say, okay, we're saving up over time and it's going to cost $100,000 every year. Well, we're saving for years. matches is all we're saving for. Right. Right? Yeah, we're saving for the library's grant funding. Period. Yeah. That's all. But that's also like, it's a lot of dice. Yeah, you never know. So, like, I mean, I'm envisioning that this doesn't have to do with tonight, but basically a capital sidewalk schedule is the same as the road schedule. Yeah, and then we can that's just. That's what you're working on. That's that is what we're working on. Okay. It won't be in the town. Okay. Right now because so no, do we need? So do we need to make? Do we need to make FY twenty four more than yes, that's, that's the question. question. That's the question. Okay. And the guardrails, and then the third, yeah. the second question is, um, it was brought up about adding a specific line for East Hartwick Village and business. Yeah. I, I think, so, which I had in there. I, I am I am in favor of including East Hardwick in the town of Hardwick and not treating it as I an agree. independent republic. So. Yeah. As long, as long as it's in that schedule. My yeah. thought on that, and I, I understand your mm -hmm. your ground. Yeah. It's a designated village. Yeah. So therefore, no, we, it is. It is a it designated is. village center. It is. It is, yeah. it is it designated is. village center. Not an incorporated village. No. 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 In no, terms no, of no, no, no. in terms of state funding of programs, okay. so we can access the same pot of money that we could for. So it's a. It, having a line item shows yep. a way to leverage funding. Well, leverage so does funding. so does just committing something out of the side of uh, one of these lines. Right, and <coughs> it's the same thing. The sidewalks in these hardwood were also measured, just like if they're mm -hmm. part yeah. of the schedule and they're right. not segregated. So but, if we, but if we said, if we say, for example, we put in $30,000 a year, then would, wouldn't it be better to say to the state that we're committing that for sidewalks than a small amount? Because before, my rub with the budget was that we were committing a really small amount for East Harvick that would never amount to very much. So if, we're, if our goal is to really like work on sidewalks, which we really need to do, then doesn't it make sense to have that just be like, like that shows that part we're of the to that capital budget. improvements. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. right. I, I can go with that. As long as the money's there, as long as we're yep. showing that, like, I don't know what that figure should be, but if that ten thousand dollars is just it's just not going to get us there. So, uh, yeah. I think we should change that ten thousand to twenty thousand. I don't know if that resolves anything, but at least it, it's a step in the right direction. And so guardrails. Is? Somebody help me understand. To me, guardrails are something that you put in and then they just sit there forever. No, they get pushed over by various things and events that happen, and then they erosion. fall down. Yeah, there's like guardrails that have something in them. There, we saw wire type guardrails, which are not. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh yeah, going out center road, a bunch of it. Really? Yep. Once you get down to the bridge, we're up the hill on the left hand side. Really? Yeah. Really well. Huh. I guess I just never looked at them. So stay but, in the road. But if we if we decided that we took out that money <coughs> from cemeteries and we're putting it in basically in the sidewalk, it's not gonna really change too much, right? It's like about So it nets out, right? Yeah. If we keep, if we make that twenty thousand dollars. But what about guardrails? Do we need what's tell, somebody tell me what we need? What's the deal with guardrails? Like, do we need to be putting more in guardrails? How much do guardrails cost? Then what do you do? Used or no? Used. Wood. <laughs> metal. What happened to that chunk that we took out of the park at East Hardwick? Were you reusing that? We like oh, we're at work. Oh, okay. Resting. <laughs> Resting. Yeah, we, we have a few sections over there. Not in this. Uh, I mean, stuff like that. You require a guardrail company to come, come in. Guardrail at the bottom of the Hazen Road would be terrible. Can the state put one in for us? That's what we should do. Or that bottom. That big spot as you come down to onto 16. Oh. It'd be nice if the state put a guardrail there just in case you, your brakes don't work. <laughs> well, I'd rather be over the bank than I would be in the middle of the road. Yeah. 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 Instead, they put, I'm taking my chances. In, uh, on the North Walker Road, you 
You know how people come down the North Walker Road yeah. on 14 and they go into the cornfield? <laughs> they finally put a blinking light there, a blinking <laughs> red light. Oh, really? Yeah, that was a common occurrence. Yeah. Oh, it's really? It still yeah. will be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just now there's a blinking light. Did you, you made it 20? I made it 20. All right, let's move on. I'm hungry, people. So we can put a blinking light in the bottom. Do okay. you want to change, so, do you want to change guardrails? Anybody? Yes. Yeah. Ones? I want to, I want to put them. Well, what would it cost? I mean, there's, there's no point in <laughs> yeah. just yeah. having it on the portfolio right now. How about we double for the next? For the like two thousand, I don't know. That's at least something. We'll go look for a guardrail in the surrounding towns, yeah. but it doesn't make it <laughs> reset. Can we reuse any of the Maybe pedestrian bridge for the guardrails? Oh yeah, the wire. <laughs> and so we're don't not going to create a right. separate line for East Harbor. We established that. Well, I don't know. That's okay. my view. Yeah, no, we we add to that. the sidewalk expense. Yeah. So and, and, if and they're a part of the schedule, then... Well, like, if you want your new sidewalks up there next year, right. it's not going to take $24,000 to do from the bridge to the top of the hill. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, those are probably... If that's what you want to put on your schedule... Okay. We're, we're coming to the top of that one. I thought the sidewalk was down here. Was up there. <laughs> I don't know. Was that in? He's wondering the sidewalks down in the drink and the roads up here, and it's more than just pouring a little concrete. Right? I mean, I just it's really, it's the same thing I just really said is we're, we're having a so silly Let's not get discouraged. Well, well get I'm discouraged. getting discouraged because we can't have an honest conversation about what's happening. Pouring concrete on top of vast infrastructure is not the answer. I agree. You're going to have to rip that all up and do it. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, that's an argument for having a separate. Term of line that's basically Why? Like, your Why like, like, a, like a main street redo because it's redoing all the culverts, all the drainage, and the sidewalks are just covering the problem. That's what's happening because all, all the water goes into the sidewalks, and that's why all those culverts are failing. And all the runoff goes into the sidewalks and down into the bridge. So, in order to really fix it, you'd have to get those above grade, which is like a foot and a half, maybe two feet in some places. Mm -hmm. Could, could I make a suggestion? Um, I think there should be a sign in Vermont that say no burning, the policy is there is no burning on Hardwick roads. Okay. I mean, not Hardwick, no on what? state roads. Burning. There's burning. You get close enough to the side of the road and you, you, you flip your car. You know, you're, you're upside down there because the, the burning is what keeps you from falling into the ditch. I mean, hmm. these are ditches, you know. Okay, we're... So, anyway, yeah. it happened to me, and I lost the car, and fortunately I didn't have a seatbelt on, I would have been cut in half, you know. But, um, All right. it was, um, uh, uh, turns out that's not... A policy that most people would understand. All right. But so there is a, an I'm, ordinance, I guess, maybe in the state. I want to bring us back into our sidewalk discussion. So we're we could. I still feel that just having a single sidewalk line is perfectly fine, and Efficient. like we don't have a. North Main Street line in here for redoing North Main Street, which also has lots of drainage issues and no sidewalks once you get halfway up, even though it looks like it used to. Um, so I don't think, I, I mean, personally, I don't need to see a line item for every sign in the town, <coughs> every, every um, road in the town. So I'd like to just keep it as is. I think we need to fund it appropriately. I think for right now, all we can do is take our best guess because every individual project is going to have its own circumstances required. Right. Yeah. Right. It's whether we do it or the entire contract. And how much work needs to be done there. Some of them are simpler than, some of them are just, you, not as complicated. Not as complicated. So, when, so and that's, I think, the importance of those schedules. So yep. if we know that the East Harbor project, for example, it's going to be complicated and expensive. Yep then we can save for it within that schedule and understand how much it's going to cost. Right. It's it sounds true. like there's an inventory happening now, yeah. and that'll help us with it's that. But it's not going to be done yeah. tonight. 
So we're saying we're going to put more money in in anticipation of more expense into yep. sidewalks. Yeah. And some of them will be in East Hardwick, but probably not all of them. Uh, library, I don't think we're going to talk a lot about. They were here last time, and basically, there's very little change other than the fact that there's a change in health insurance policy um, for the new library director um, change in status. So, really straightforward. They're going to use a good chunk of the fund balance from the prior year um, and to reduce their ask. And then, trails and rec. Pretty straightforward. Um, I know we took out the fireworks from line item and decided that maintenance, uh, uh, excuse me, that recreation yeah. would um, help with the Spartan Fest to support that yeah. with their budget. And that's it. Yep. Oh, and then let me just go back to, I should have questions about that, to like the tax rate after. Health insurance went way up. Right here. So, what does that do to the final? Okay. So this, I'm going to make this bigger, sorry. Okay, so this is um, the proposed tax rate and impact on $100,000 home. We've been talking right along about contributing $125,000 from the fund balance to offset the tax rate. So this top section shows what we would need to collect for taxes, less the fund contribution, and then what we would need to collect after. Um, and then you can provide that grand list, and so it's a dollar thirty-eight point three eight seven compared to last year. Um, so it shows right down here um, about sixty dollars um, on a hundred thousand dollar home for hundred thousand four point five eight percent. And then down here covers just the appropriations alone. Um, if those were added in. It makes it six point two nine for eighty three dollars per hundred thousand, roughly. But what people are voting on in town meeting is the budget. The only the budget. Correct. This is just a tool for people to get an idea yes. about what Correct. it would be. Right. But they're not. They're voting on, on this increase the, in the budget of four point seven eight percent. Or they're voting on the number of three yes. million seven hundred thirty by three right. four. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is a four and three quarters percent increase but i i think given the climate that we're in the inflationary climate that we're in it's not bad i mean it's not i think it's good i think we did a heck of a job yeah, we did. Off with the um, cost of living, right? Cost of right. living is 8.7 percent right yeah and, and fuel costs have been um, are really high i mean i think it's yeah I think it's a reasonable. Well, there's no choice because every thing, every every department did their damnedest. To, there's no increases other than what that we have no control over. Insurance. No one's getting anything yeah, extra. Insurance. Here. No new toys. Diesel, right. salt. It's really those big driving factors. Right. I mean, I think this Benefits. is. Right. It ends up being the budget that we think that still continues all the services, all the services. everybody's expecting so at the same level. The service. yes. right. But it's also anticipating that the cost of the town is going to go on and we're setting money aside to meet those so we don't have to bond and pay interest on money that we use to spend on trucks in the future. That's a good point. You're Absolutely right. Like all the all those cash flows. Right, yeah. just continues to avoid money that we set aside to avoid borrowing in the future. Right. By paying cash for our equipment. <coughs> so, I, yeah. I just want to note one thing that confused me, and I don't know if it doesn't draw confusion to anyone else. But it, at first, when I looked at this, I thought it was strange that um, our the increase for the property tax is 5.2 percent. The amount to be raised for the taxes is 5.2 percent. But then our on the other page, our increase is like the the projected increase on home after appropriations is six point something. It's a little higher. 
But I think the reason for that is because last year we also used some of our fund balance to offset the tax, and we used more, a greater. Correct. We used one hundred seventy-five thousand. And so that I think that it, that's what makes that difference. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that's enough to be getting on with for now. Yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much, Casey. Mm -hmm. so Good job, Casey. We will do finalize this at the next meeting. We're going to do it at the next meeting. And then um, that point, uh, the town clerk will prepare the warning and probably in our okay. next special we'll meeting that following Monday or Tuesday, just to put the warning to Okay. Tentatively. Yep. That sounds good. Yes. So that's. Sorry, next meeting is the 19th? 19th. Okay, and then that, like, 23rd. Like okay. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Casey. Uh, any select board reports? Yeah, I report there's no snow. <laughs> Still. And it's a drag for everyone. And there's yeah. none in the forecast. And then there's a key word here. Sugaring. People are making syrup. Really? Not me, but yeah. people, no, people, are. people are. I can leak out a little information. I think the Black Bridge is on almost uh -huh. Yeah. I think it's this week hopefully they'll have that wrapped up. Now it's great. I did a small reconnaissance mission down there Did over you? the weekend and it looks like it was very close to done. Yeah, they were moving they were demobilizing stuff today. So yeah. oh. That's, that's that's close there. Even. So the problem wasn't the problem. Mm -hmm. the problem got straightened out relatively quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are grooming. The snowmobile club is grooming between here and East Hardwick. So the people that want to get out there. Hey, what are you grooming? Well, we were. We did. <laughs> um, but There's snow on the edges. I did see snowmobiles. <laughs> yep. Across the road right here. Yep. No, but I and saw a lot of people. Too. My point is, I saw a lot. There are a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think everyone's it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for folks to all learn to get along. Leashes on your dog is going to be a huge thing. Uh, yeah. Huge thing. I haven't seen a dog on a leash on the rail trail yet, which oh, is, boy. I'm a dog guy, but when you're out on public space with your dog, you need to have your dog on a leash, whether he behaves or not. They all behave until they bite somebody. Yeah. Well, they're also putting on their properties with dogs that might not like. That's right. Neighboring properties are not used to having people come by. That's a good point. Yeah. There's a lot of backyards that, that now point. have traffic that have never, ever, ever had traffic in, their, in, in as long as they've lived there. Mm -hmm. um, and horse people need to pick your poop up as well. <laughs> I mean, this is a public trail, and that means the public needs to take care of it. Otherwise, it will not exist. Hey, you know, they're putting mile markers on the trail. Uh, there's been talk over the over the time that they were, but I don't know where they are now with their sign package. I would say they must have some sort of mile marker. I don't know. I know they they saved all the original mile markers that were still available when they redid it, but uh, I don't know what the final sign package. I know they got enough stop signs. I thought, well, there, I thought there were mile markers on the parts that are finished. On, on the old rail trail, there was. The, the old railroad. Yeah, well, they left everything that was there from that was still there. I but, know. Yeah, because like a contact packet, but you know, three, one or what our concerns were about it. Yeah. And like I told her, the, our only big concern was we're, we're kind of prepped and ready because we got enough machinery down fire to uh, do whatever we needed. But ours was, there was no mile markers. Right. The location. So it must be 911. Intersections have the street names on them. Right. Okay. But like I told her, I said if they don't pay attention, they call in and they get hurt. That's right. And they say we cross this street. Well, okay, they go on east. Which way? Right. 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 So right. every right. intersection right. is 911 identified through the VAS trail system. With GPS coordinates. With GPS coordinates. And a 911 phone call instantly gets geobased. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So you should get pretty good. Pretty good information, but I don't know what's available in between those vast lines. I haven't looked into that. Hmm. But I've seen a lot of, you know, and it's, it's, it's great to see people out there. Yeah, it totally is. I agree. I have a super tiny old yes. business. Go ahead. Um, I just went, a couple meetings ago, we were asking about when the HED reports, if we could receive the report that's yeah. given. I looked at the minutes, I did not see that report from 
the, I guess, um, the last I think one. Roger mentioned that Mike gives the commissioners a report. It wasn't available online, so maybe at our next meeting we can ask for that ahead of time. So that way, I find it too much information to be able to properly ask questions. So it would be really nice to have it in our packet. Their information is very complex. It, it would also be nice to like be another way for the public to see <coughs> their report if possible. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, who's gonna Who's gonna follow up on that? Okay, I can. Uh, everybody's going not at blue. I can, I can reach out before our next meeting and ask. I'll do it. You'll do it. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. I got it. Everybody I'm does. getting tired, so it's hard to tell. You're okay. All right. You to do okay. Me too. You are here. You're six hundred. You're six hundred dollars. Oh my gosh. All right. Any other select board reports, new business, or business? Reach like a review, baby. Um, are we still working on a uh, old business? Are we still working on a property, how, how <coughs> property policies and protocols? Sorry, say again. What you guys I would need to, to I, so I'm at the point where I would need to know what, what we're trying to accomplish for that because there's already rules about a set of property, right? Yep. Right. I'm just saying because that came up when we were talking about the other property. Yep, and, and my hope is that with our new downtown designation and with a potential um, new housing being built, that we'll have some idea. What we so. Do with that. I uh, I'm not I can't be the leader here. Is that fair? Okay. Just because I'm not sure. Totally what the, fine. I'm, just I'm not sure it. what to. I get. It seems to me that every question on real estate seems to be kind of a one-off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The situations are always different. We seem to every time we have a real estate situation, our general maybe just general. She's a checklist to be realized. Like we're willing. Like we are willing, but. Or even just a policy on how we sell our public lands. Yeah. I don't have a problem against it. I just, just don't know where to go with it. Yeah, right. I think we should, our policy should be just selling it right now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll sell everything to hide a flag trade. Let them be a church. Okay, just saying. We'll be a um, company town. So it doesn't I think it's get in the way of case progress. by case, but I think that it's important to have some sort of guidelines. I agree. I mean, even if we just gather what those what the statute is and what the rules are about it. Yeah. Well, that we have. It's really just time on Right, but maybe put them together in a document so that it's So that we can refer to it. <laughs> when we right, have so questions. it's transparent to someone, somebody well, asks us about something. That right. we got if, you, some of it. if you look at it, like, uh, well, you can't really look at it. Like, but just a general document outlining the yeah. statutes and Sometimes the we procedures that we do that so that at least when somebody asks us, we have a Yep. Yeah, here this is where we stack. BCLT sometimes has that type BCLT of stuff where they take off, they it. distill all the statute and they say these are yeah. the salient points that you need to be aware of. Yeah, I mean. They may have one. Well, we know we've got one coming up or two coming up right yeah. off, so. Everybody has one um, And then I had a question about, um, so we talked about doing some sort of a job description page or a few pages where we tell people what the all the different positions are so that they can potentially see what they would be signing on for yes. before we go through and appoint all these people that some do and don't have um, like there isn't like an obvious person to appoint or there's maybe a person who isn't really doing it but it's getting appointed anyway because they're the only person that said they would do it even or though they not. don't do it mm -hmm. so um I have some of them, like I have to gather from different people, <coughs> where I have some of it, and the plan was, oh, I know, or... Try to put it in the annual report. Well, and not only that, but before, like ideally, sometime in the next week or so, we would make the front porch forum post, mm -hmm. like, that says, here's the positions, and mm -hmm. I know, like, Uncle Gardy posted, like, what was that for school board and things like that, but this would literally be, like, what does a tree warden do? What does the surveyor right. wood bark? It? Like yeah. they're all statute yeah. descriptions. Um, but and then DRB planning commission because they have open seats. Um, trying, yes, we're we are working on it. Who's and I, yeah, I am hoping like by the tenth or twelfth to have something at least on the porch forum. Are you? Or do you guys need to 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.